Our film project, The Emperor of All Maladies, is about as close to the bone as filmmaking gets for me. There's not a person in our country that has not in some way been affected by this disease, cancer. And it's time we sort of put away the superstitions and the fears and the anxieties and sort of ran up against it. And try to put it in some sort of perspective that might arm us as viewers and filmmakers and patients to make a difference. One of my patients asked me a very simple question, what is it that I'm fighting? And I was drawn, sort of obsessively drawn to this question because I thought to myself, well, here's something that is going to intersect with all of our lives. And yet we know very little about it. We don't know its history. Where does it rise? What happens next? Where are we in, the, in this journey? So I decided to take the journey way back into the past and way forward into the future to try to understand why are we here today with cancer. I'm not a scientist. I don't know whether this will all pan out, but there's a sense, a kind of palpable energy and excitement that we may be on the cusp of some significant changes, some significant breakthroughs, some new and radical therapies and treatments that will change our relationship to the disease. Make no mistake, this is one of the most significant human challenges in our history. But I think we're sitting in an extraordinary moment because we finally are beginning to understand what causes cancer at a cellular or molecular or genetic level in a way we just did not know 10 years ago or even five years ago. Every year has brought a kind of clarity to our understanding of what goes wrong in a cancer cell the big question is, can we convert that into treatment, prevention, or cure? I think it's a project that I couldn't not get involved with. I'm a very busy filmmaker. I plan things out 10 years in advance. Everything was lined up, but I couldn't say no to this project. There is never a moment in my awareness as a human being that I didn't know that something was desperately wrong with my mother. Two and a half, three years old, she was sick with cancer. She died when I was 11, almost 12 years old. The reason why I do what I do comes from this illness and this death and watching it happen. This film feels very much part of everything I've wanted to do and it feels completely unique and I'm looking forward to the journey. <laughs>